Okay, we're going to do ray diagrams for lenses, and this is going to be just like what we did for the mirrors, where we're going to do three ray diagrams, different colors a good idea, and then pause uh, the video so that you can draw along with the video itself. There are going to be three diagrams, so on your sheet of paper, uh, top, middle, and bottom. And so let's take a look at the type of lens that's thicker in the middle, thinner on the sides, and that's called a converging lens. It's also called a convex lens. We'll use the term converging just so that we don't get it confused with a convex mirror. So what diff what's different is these light rays refract. So just like we saw with Snell's Law, as it enters the new medium, it bends, and then as it reaches the other side, it bends again. When we draw our ray diagrams though, we're just going to have it bend one time in the middle of the lens. But just like before, we have focal points, except on this case, we'll have two focal points because the light ray could come through in either direction. So we'll have a focal point over here and we'll have one over here. Okay, so we have the same relationship with the center of curvature and the focal point, just like we did before. Okay, so let's set up our first ray diagram. So we have the lens, it's a converging lens. Two focal points make them equidistant. And let's put the object way out here. Okay, so just like what we did with the mirrors, we're going to follow those same basic steps. The only difference is it's not going to bounce, it's going to bend. So step one, go straight in and bend through the focal point. Step two, go through the other focal point, and then when it hits the lens, comes out straight. So you're using both focal points, one of the focal points for step one, one of the focal points for step two. The rays don't bend until they hit the lens. That's why they bend, because it reached a new material. Image is located where the two refracted rays cross. So here's one refracted ray, here's the other one. So where these two guys cross, that's where the image is located. Since they cross below the principal axis, image is upside down. Now we have to name it just like before. We know it's upside down, it's inverted. We know in this case it's smaller because this green arrow is smaller than the black object arrow. But how do we know it's a real image? Because for a mirror, it was in front or behind the mirror. Well, with a lens, there's no in front or behind. So a real image we know is inverted. So that's why we say this image is inverted, it's upside down. For lenses, when the image is on the opposite side of the lens from the object, then that's a real image. Now let's put it inside the focal point. We'll follow the same steps. So step one, go straight in and bend through the focal point. Step two, can't come down through this focal point, but just like we did with our mirrors, we're going to go along that same line and come up until we hit the lens, and that comes out straight. Image is located where the two refracted rays cross. So since these guys aren't parallel, they cross. Where do they cross? Back here. What type of image is this? Virtual, upright, so it's facing the same direction as the object, Virtual, it's on the same side of the lens as the object, and we know all virtual images are upright, and in this case, it's larger. This is how your magnifying glasses work. You just have to have the object inside the focal point, and then you get that upright enlarged image. Our third one is a diverging lens. So this is the one where the lens is thin in the middle, thicker on the sides. So this is kind of like the hourglass shape. Same idea as it enters the new material, the rays are going to bend, but in this case they'll bend away from a focal point. So instead of bending towards, they'll bend away. That's diverge, spread out. So 
same relationship as the other uh, lens. Okay, so let's draw this one. So let's place the object, and again, let's draw this nice and large because the image is going to be small. So the object, draw your lens, place your two focal points equidistant away. Step one, go straight in and bend away from the focal point. So extend this out and then bend away. Step two is just the opposite. So step two, aim towards the focal point, but stop at the lens. Aim towards the focal point, come out straight. Image is located where the two refracted rays cross. So extend this guy back. So where these two guys cross, that's where your image is located. What type of image is it? Virtual, because it's on the same side of the lens as the object. Upright, it's facing the same direction as the object is. And smaller, so the green arrow is smaller than the black arrow. You'll always get this type of image with a diverging lens.